Hello guys, day number two and um, yesterday we took all the interior parts uh, except the central console so today we're starting with taking this off and after we take the central console I'm gonna remove the kick, the lower kick panels um, and see if there's too much rust there if the bulkhead is good as um, the seller said that it is good uh, so we're gonna check all that and then we're gonna start moving on to taking exterior pieces out. I wanna take the front bumper out, uh, the headlights, the tail lights, the mirrors, the handles, and the side trims. So, handles, mirrors, front and back lights, and these trim pieces on the side because they're in a really bad shape. Uh, I want to give them back to the owner and see if he can find the replacement ones or he can send these somewhere to be repaired or something like that. Um, the headlights and the tail lights, I'm going to give them back to him uh, so he can have a look. Maybe he can um, refresh them a little bit um, because after all, this is the only time uh, I'm not going to need all these lights for a long time. Um, so yeah, I think they can do definitely with a refresh. Um, and after we do that, I'm gonna start removing, I'm probably gonna remove the bonnet and the boot lid, um, but I'm not sure on this one because I might need to take the car out. And um, if I take it out without bonnet and boot lid, it's pretty bad trip. So we might do that, we might not do it, depending on how quickly I can start working on the car because um, at some point I'll need to take the glasses out so front glass, back glass, the side glass which is especially these ones I need to take them out and take a really good care of them because the silver inside the grills is still in a good condition and we don't wanna we don't wanna mess it up um, all these weather stripping and all that stuff will need to be changed but on that later let's start removing the central console out let me go and get a light as well Ah, it's a nice day outside it's uh it's a bit windy still like yesterday less yesterday was terrible so let's go and grab a screwdriver i think that's all we need and let's get in there so what i saw on the diagram at home and i brought it today with me as well is First of all, you need to remove this because there is a screw at the back. Yep, there is two screws under there. Oh, oh well, these are loose, and I swear I haven't been there yet. <laughs> I'll put you on the tripod over here, something like that, maybe. Yes. Remove this one. And then I'm going to remove that one. There we go. just slide out something like that like twist out uh, because yeah there's a electrical connection on the side for the light inside the, the ashtray and um, then we have two at the front these are for the wood trim the bottom wood trim I'm gonna remove these Tight in there. 
Uh, we're gonna need 30 millimeter to remove the bracket for the handbrake because we we'll need to slide that down like backwards. Impact gun is over there. Whoop, got it. 14. This is 10. 18. Something like that. 13 should be somewhere here. Get out, whatever you are. Bear with me a second. Ah, oh, there we go. It's, it's, it's over my head. So, 13 mil. I'm gonna zip them up. So they have a washer and anti spinning out washer as well. <laughs> Don't know the name of that. Mm -hmm. uh, we might, should be fine. I'll just lay it to a side like that. So basically, because um, so now these should lift like that. So you lift it up. And then you push it back because there's a pin over here that holds in place. Might be a little bit stuck. It's not been taken out in a long time. Give me a sec, I'll put you on the pod. See that? Yeah. Oh, I was wondering why the rear windows are not working and the, the switches are not even connected. <laughs> yep, yeah, go on. Something like that. Yeah, good. Um, okay. Well, one of the switches is connected, the other one is not. Well, let's, let's see. No, that's still not working. The front ones are working. Blinky things are working. But these are not. All right, anyway. Um, so yeah, these are the connectors. They connect from the bottom. They usually have only one way to connect all of them. But what I would suggest and what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna put some um, tape around them and I'm gonna write rear left, rear right, front left, front right um, and the hazard switch is a massive one so you, you can't really mistake it so I'm gonna do that, be back in a second okay I have taken notes of all the wires and stuff like that also yesterday when I was looking through the car I found one of um, the um, connector caps you know because you know you can take them apart of course and see this uh, so i found one of the connector caps and it was for this thing this is the child lockout um for the rear windows so the switches to the back don't work um but yeah if you put that back on there um labeled everything and it's down there uh, the two bolts from the back are disconnected um i think there is um, some sort of a stuff that holds this on but I won't be doing that right now um, this thing now should just pop out uh, you just need to take this off you see on the side they have like a small clips inside and then you can you can plug them back in there well we'll do that later um, sometimes they are a little bit of a pain because maybe the clip is corroded or something like that uh, that radio is just gonna go in the bin and this should go down uh, at the back there is gonna be some vacuum ports and stuff like that 
So I'm going to try to pull it as much as I, out of possible. I'm going to snap a picture and I'm going to save that with the small red thing, the small red heart on the Apple. Just because vacuum stuff is really, really annoying and I don't want to be dealing with any of that. So uh, we're going to do this um, on the side over here. There should be some screws. Like that somewhere on the side over here there should be screws holding these panels to the car uh, but of course they're, they're probably gonna be um, like glued over so you don't really see them it is what it is um, so I'm gonna put you on the tripod at the back and um, then I'm gonna start working my way through and uh, I'm gonna be making notes and stuff like that so I don't so I don't struggle when I start putting the car back together. <laughs> so yeah, see you in a bit. And um, as I was saying a little bit earlier, um, I have removed the, the console now, it's, it's pretty easy. Um, looking at here, we have uh, some melted wires where the connector is and that might be because um, the motor inside, um, the blower motor it might be cooked a little bit and you start to damaging the wires in the switch so that will need to be repaired at some point <laughs> when we get back to it um, so yeah you have um, you have this panel over here and um, because it's a dual zone we, you have for your side and for the passenger side this is the vacuum for up and down on the lights and uh, this is your switch for switching how fast you want the, the blower to be working and you can see that wire is melted not good so um, yeah two vacuum ports uh, one is bigger the other one is slower is smaller uh, we have these um, um, these are basically uh, fiber fiber connectors and they transmit light from one side to the other side so basically there's two lights over here that um, that you know shine on the side of the the sliders and um, these small um, fiber wires they pick up the light and then send one to the switch um, there's one over here and one over there at the top and this one goes into i think this is a rear window defrost you can see that it's like it's um it's a fiber um i don't know if i put light on here no might not work don't know so yeah the, the these transmit the light from here up there and from here up there then this is the light bulbs and this is the connector that connects to the switch um, and as I was saying you see these sliders that go up and down they have like a grooves in them and they just they just slide into the clip once you slide them in you can move them up and down and then you can always slide them out um, when I put it back together, I'll put some grease so it's easier to, to move them up and out. Uh, but yeah, that, that's about it. Um, while I'm here, I'm gonna try to push the radio from underneath or something like that. Um, because I don't really have the keys to pull the radio out. But yeah, I'll remove the console and uh, pack everything up and then start with the kick panels and stuff. That's the easy way to remove your radio. <laughs> <sighs> uh, 
Great. So, a quick recap what was holding the central console in. First of all, there is going to be two screws on the side, over here, one over there, one over there, one over there, one over there. Then um, there's going to be two screws which are holding the central console to the metal dashboard. So one there, one there. Um, there was one screw at the front for the um, for the trim piece, uh, which it looked like a straight up wood screw that somebody just stuck in there because that was fluffing about. So that <laughs> that was the only thing stopping it from going out. Even even the. Um, even the kick panels, they were fine. You could you could have taken the thing out without without removing these. Um, look at all the wiring mess that is going over here. So that radio, wow, wow! Somebody went wild. Mamma mia! Uh, antenna uh, and yeah antenna and some sort of, sort of connector that might be the the iPod connector over here or whatever that was going to oh no it's something else We're pulling that one out boys that ain't staying here We're gonna be putting a quality. Ugh, that got stuck somewhere. Ooh, there we go. What's that? Interface adapter for iPod. Wow, that is old. That's antique. Oh my god. Well, we're gonna have a look at that a little bit later. <laughs> but yeah, that is that is straight up going in the bin. Let's remove the connectors, the rest of them. Man, everything is sliced up and chopped up. It's ridiculous, unfortunately. But it is the way it is. Anyway, central console removed. Let's pack everything up, give it to the customer. And then later on, because it's already half day, it's taken me too long. Let's pack everything up, give it to the customer, and then I'm going to start removing lights and stuff like that. So, see you in a little bit. We're going to have a lunch break and back on it again. Now, the whole inside. Woo! We're getting the storms. The whole inside of the car is stripped up. Um, I'm going to start by removing the tail lights. And then later on, I'm going to move to the headlights as well. So let's see what do we need. By looks of it, 8mm, 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 8mm. Nice. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. Let's go and grab that. I'm not even going to be lazy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get um 8mm socket. Is it 8mm or it's a 10mm? Was it 8 mil or 10 mil? I don't know, but Eli hoovered it out and by looks of it, it's better. So, 8 mil or... Was it 8 mil or 10 mil? 8 mil or 10 mil? I think it might have been 10 mil. Don't know. I don't know. Gonna get extension. So... Oh yeah, we removed the grill. It's uh, just a few screws, nothing interesting. Uh, was it eight mil? Yes, it was eight mil. I was correct. 
so you watch there let me turn the lamp down a little bit you can see a little bit better unit I don't need to take the backing plate out or whatever which is good I can store them as a one piece and when I move them out I can actually put these washers and nuts back on it again it's not like the BMW 21 it's a lot simple and there should be yeah there's some at the bottom as well there's really a lot of moisture in here well that rain is really coming down now there is a little bit of moisture over here and everything is rusted and uh, wow yeah there's a lot of rust and also the moisture has damaged uh, some of the carpets uh, well not the actual carpet but the, the 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 piece underneath the carpet is damaged so that is that is that the dynamic? no oh. by the looks of it I will need to remove the vacuum blade because the connectors are going down there Though. not too shabby not too bad like on some of the newer cars you need to remove the whole uh, lining inside to actually get to the thing so don't think that is that bad but lights in a pretty good condition the we're gonna change what is that oh that's uh okay all right connector is inside there we go and uh, that's about it these can stay here I'm gonna have a look because uh, there's electric antenna fitted to it uh, which of course means that somebody just played with rain and most likely it's all messy Tighten these up. I'll put all the bolts and stuff back on. I'm gonna do the same for the other headlight, uh, tail light. Sorry. Uh, then I'm gonna move to the headlights, and then I'm gonna take the wings out. The wings are gonna be kind of hard because I've never taken one of these apart. I guess I'm gonna figure it out. So, see ya, see you, you, yep, you. I'll see you in a, a little bit. Let me take the other head, tail light, and I'll see you. Oh, sir. Look at that hole. <laughs> I got a helper now, and uh, we're taking, we've, we have taken the front bumper off, uh, we have taken the bottom bumper trims yeah thingy magics yep exactly that let me show you it's easier so we have taken these out he has four screws in them like a wood screws plastic bolt screws whatever you call it screws along these they were bolted down there like it's a, it's a wood screw isn't it <laughs> pretty much um now we have taken the screws over here 
So that should slide one way and then the other way. Okay. Ellie's gonna need to pass us the 10 mil so we can take the wipers off. She's labeling everything with the masking tape. <laughs> Might be inside the car. Might be inside the car. <laughs> So this car had the spotlights which were hardwired in. I have chopped these off and I'm gonna put a nice waterproof connectors on there. <clears throat> Pray to the gods of the white police. Nice. It's not the original nut but we'll figure this one out later on. There you go. Nice little wiper for you. I'll yeah. stick the nut in the washer back there. This one is different. Yeah, there's um, a lot of stuff on that car which are not original. But I guess that's about normal for that sort of age. There's a lot of people that play with them. Which is normal. That uh, is falling off, what is going on here. Oh, that's like uh, the wire that goes front and back. Okay, cool. Whatever. There's uh ah, oh, there is the the screw is still there. There you go. Oh well I'm gonna drop it. Maybe not. Might be one on that side as well. Yeah. And all these screws we're gonna change them. Because these are rusty crusty and we don't like that so headlight held down with screws again oh look at that Deep it in. delivery for me go and grab it That should be our new editing rig. Put you on the thing on the tripod because I'll need two hands for the wires at the back. So drop down. Ooh, look at that. Second brand, yeah. So, one big connector goes over here, and then a vacuum port to control the lights up and down. That's it, pretty neat. Handbrake is pretty good. Santa Claus. Hey, new editing rig. Come on, open it up. Show us what we got. Brake pads. Brake pads. That is not the new editing rig. <laughs> <laughs> Headlights in a really good condition. The reflectors need a little bit of a of a love. Oh my god, what is going on here? <laughs> what is going on here? <sighs> Why? Why people do stuff like that? Why? Look at that. Cheese. Whew. that side a little bit as well but the other side is really molested somebody somebody done a good number of that one look at that look at the rust over there wow the whole part over here is missing see the difference between here and over here 
Jeez. What is it then? Oh. There we oh, go. It's pretty clean. I don't want to even touch it. Don't touch it. Well, well touch, it touch it for me, okay. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, I think that's about it. We're gonna need to order that section. That might be a part of the wing. Uh, and if that's the case, which I think that is the case, because yeah, that is part of the wing. So a new wing should sort all my problems out. Hopefully. Oh, it's uh, yeah. Might be a light bucket that thing that is called over here because the wing. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, it might be a light bucket thingy magic that is called. But that's fine. I'll order. I'll order it. And um, rear arches. Gotta order this one. Quarter panel bottom part. We need to order this one. No, no, leave it. I will set it up later. You want anything, Rick boy? Cool, guys. Thank you really much for watching. That's all we have time for today. I, I need to go and see that laptop over there. So, thank you really much for watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. There's a lot more um, R107 stuff that we're going to be doing. So, if you want to see more from us, me and Ellie and my dad she's up in the other garage consider subscribing smash that like button it really helps me grow up the channel and um yeah have a great day or night or morning whatever you're watching the video thank you see you later bye bye